By now you've seen a lot about how Samsung's Galaxy AI can help you in creative situations and social situations using keyboard and translate. But what about productivity? Daniel here from Sam Mobile TV. Here I'm going to show you how you can use Samsung Note Assist to help you in getting stuff done. So you've just taken a long note, whether it be meetings or whether you've taken notes from a, a class that you're in, and it looks messy. Everything's a bit disorganized. It's just basically one format. Looks a bit all over the place. In Samsung Notes, you've got something called Notes Assist. Go into the settings and turn this on. Then you have the option of using a bunch of different features that we're going to go through one by one. Let's go into a note and sort of take a look at it. It's not really in any sort of format. It's just kind of text on a page. In the bottom, in the toolbar of Samsung Notes, you have the AI button. When you press this, it will select a bunch of text, usually just the first page. But if you drag the slider down all the way to the bottom of the page, it'll capture that content as well. When you hit the AI button and you've selected your text, you've got four different options. You've got auto format, you've got summarize, you've got translate, and you've got spelling and grammar. Kind of everything we've seen already, but purpose built for notes. The two you haven't really seen yet is auto format and summarize. Starting with auto format, when you hit that button, you've actually got two options. You've got headers and bullet points, and you've got meeting notes. Your option as to which one you like, it just depends on the context of the stuff that you're capturing. To be honest, they both kind of do the same thing. The headers and bullets will try and isolate some things, create headers and then bullet points underneath. The meeting notes basically does the same thing. But what you see, the difference is sort of the format that it gives you. So when you swipe through the, the results, you've got colors, you've got structure, you've got fonts. And basically you just choose the one you like after you've swiped through the list and then you hit there's a couple options down the bottom. You've got copy, so you can copy the text out. You've got replace, where it will literally just replace the text in the note that you've got, or you can add it to either a new note or a page before or after the stuff that you've got. Depending on what it is you wanna do, if you're happy this is the final version, you can replace what you've got, but you might not wanna do that. You might wanna add it to a new note so you can keep the original and get the new as well. Summarize works very similar. So when you again so press the AI button, you can select summarize. And what this will do is rather than creating a different format, it will summarize what you've got into four or five different key points. You can then choose whether you want this to be a standard summary or a more detailed one. So depending on what you've selected last, it will bring up that last one. Then you change it to standard and it'll work again to consolidate it, or you can change it to detailed and it'll expand it out. Either way, it's using AI to sort of give you extra points. You can copy, you can replace, or add to something else. Then there's translate, which works as advertised. It translates. This can be a really great one if you wanna save it as a document that needs to be sent internationally. You can sort of create multiple versions of this and it works really fast. And then the last one is spelling and grammar. This again is a really good one to have for documents because you can replace incorrect spelling and incorrect grammar and it will literally clean up the entire document which is really good to see. I really like that Samsung have built all this in to Samsung Notes to give you that flexibility of productivity. The other parts of this, it's not realistically within the same context as Galaxy AI, but you can generate different covers based off AI for that note. So when you press down on the title area and you hit on the cover page, it can generate some different covers based off AI, based on the content that's in there. You've got different emojis that kind of hopefully relate to the text, and then you can create this sort of cover page that you can have sitting on your albums in your Samsung Notes. It's actually really clever. This is a feature I've started to use excessively because I really like the formatting and how it can clean up my scripts that basically have no format to them whatsoever and give me a nice clean path to follow when I'm filming these videos for you. So I like it a lot. If you like this stuff a lot too, make sure you hit subscribe and like this video. Go check out our other AI videos that we've got up on the channel now as well. Also come follow us on all of our social platforms. We've got a lot on there. And also our website, samalvo.com. There's a lot on there as well. We'll see you next time. Thanks. If you've liked the look of Galaxy AI and you want to try it for yourself, check the link out in the description to grab your Samsung device with Galaxy AI today. <music>